from Renaissance High School and we're participating in the Idaho chapter of the TSA. And we're here at the uh, drone competition by a baseball diamond and what we do here is we just pretty much fly drones and um, we've made a portfolio right, right here. Um, and we, we did a research paper, we put our resumes in, we had to register with the AMA, and we just fly. So our course is going around a couple flags and through a couple gates. Um, it was really interesting uh, to try doing it. It was a lot more low to the ground. It was, it was kind of scary. Um, they do a lot of uh, different events. They're doing it behind me right now, but you fly around flags. Um, I enjoyed it even though I did not do as well as I thought. It was quite hard at first to learn how to fly because there's not a lot of autonomous systems that keep your drone in place. So that required a lot of simulator time and a lot of hands-on experience flying every Wednesday and using the simulator for hours every day. So, you know, you learn quickly and you get the feel for it and you get to, you, you'll learn how to control it and it gets a lot easier. And then we started working with some obstacles and we flew out in, outside a lot too. I think it was really fun. It was great. Uh, I got a good experience out of it for it being a new competition here. It was, it was fantastic. I really had fun here. Hello, I'm uh, Justin Touchstone. I'm the Idaho State TSA Technology Student Association advisor. Um, I wanted to bring drones to this event because we are based around technology and drones are probably one of the greatest emerging technologies that we have. There are a lot of careers available for it and we now have colleges offering uh, drone degrees for, for pilots to, for students to go through and become a drone pilot in a lot of different areas. And PCS made a great drone that we can put into the classroom where kids learn how to build it, troubleshoot the issues with it, go through a curriculum to learn to fly it. So this is just the first step and I see and envision this contest becoming something great where we in incorporate uh, drone photography, um, a drone problem solving where students actually have to build and, and custom build their own drone to come out and solve a, a technical problem as, long as, as well as racing. And then we're going to also include mini drones next year. So I think this is a great event. Um, I think students learn a lot. They get a lot of challenges. Uh, there's teamwork, there's problem solving. Um, issues with the drones, how to fly it, uh, and they learn a lot of things that they can apply down the road in their careers. Even if they don't become a drone pilot, there's a lot of great technical things that they learn and a lot of great critical thinking and teamwork aspect as well.